Hello, here's here. Today I will show you how you can secure your premium for month or even for half a year in one month just by farming herbs without using focus. I will show profit from all the herbs that are in the game. I'm not gonna lie, I was surprised by the results. Let's get to the point. If you want to start farming herbs, at first you need to build a herb garden. To build a herb garden, just press H then go to the farming tab, choose herb garden, build, then place it, pay. Now just fill it with 25 of rough logs, 25 rough stone, 25 birch planks and 25 limestone block. And now you got your herb garden. If you want to profit more, you need to know where to buy your seeds. There are two options, you can buy them from a farming merchant or on the market. Just compare the prices from these two places and you will know where the seeds are cheaper. At the beginning I need to say that profit from each herb is from 5 plots. So, to buy seeds, uh, the first herb, tier 2 arcane agaric, to buy 45 seeds you need to spend 121k silver, and as you can see, profit per day is 39k and profit per month from this herb is 1,170k silver. Now another herb, tier 3, Brightleaf Comfrey. Cost of plants is 225k silver, profit per day 63k, so the profit per month is 1,900k silver. Tier 4 herb, Crenellated Burdock. Cost of the plants is 337k silver. Profit per day is 121k, so profit per month is 3,630k silver. In my opinion, it's one of the best herbs on the lower tiers that you can start farming to get your specs. Now tier 5 herb, Dragon Teasel. Cost of the plants is 450k silver, profit per day from this herb is 33k silver and profit per month is 980k silver. Like comparing to Burdock, the profit is very low. Another herb, tier 6, Elusive Fog Glove. To buy 45 seeds of this herb you need to spend 674k silver, profit per day from this herb is 96k silver and profit per month is something around 2.9 million silver. Tier 7 herb Fire Touch Mullein. Cost of the plants is 1 million silver, profit per day from this herb is 276k silver and the profit per month from this herb is 8.3 million silver. For me it's crazy that you can profit that much just from one herb and without using focus. And this profit is only from 5 plots, so it's like maxed out personal island. You can literally secure your 1 month premium just by farming one herb, this tier 7 herb, and it will take you like 5 minutes daily. And now the last herb in the game, tier 8, Gold Yarrow. Cost of plants is 1.35 million silver. Profit per day from this herb is 70k silver, so profit per month is 2.1 million silver. Here I was also surprised that you can profit only 70k from tier 8 herb, but what can we do? Now probably the most important part, how to make tons of silver on herbalism. The answer is islands renting. To make real profits you will need to rent islands with farming plots. You can look for islands for rent, for example on discord servers like crafting tavern or crafters work hard. Just go to the island renting channel and look for some plots. The average price for one plot is something like 5k silver per day. So, if you would want to rent 10 islands with 3 farming plots each, it would be 30 farming plots. It will cost you 4.5 million silver per month. We already know that from 5 farming plots we can make up to around 8 million silver from farming Fire Touch Mullein. So, from these 30 plots you would make something like 48 million silver 
which is 43 and a half million silver profit because minus is four and a half million for renting. If you don't have any specs in herbalism, just start from harvesting some low tier herbs until you will get this tier 7 herbs and you will be able to farm fire touch mullein. Also, remember that later you can craft some potions from the herbs that you're farming. But that's a topic for another video. What's great about this method is that you don't even need your own island because you can rent it from other players. So summarizing, to start making around 40 million silver per month or even more, you will need premium, cost of 30 days of premium is 9 million silver, 4.5 million silver to rent islands, 6 million silver to buy 270 fire touch mullein seeds, and at least level 60 in herbalist to be able to farm tier 7 herbs. Why is it better than labors? The first thing, you don't have to deal with journals. We all know that sometimes it's pretty hard to get full journals, especially on higher tiers, and also it's hard to sell empty journals on the market. Another thing why herbalism is better than labors is that you don't have to invest that much silver to start profiting. To start making some nice silver on labors, you will need to build a lot of houses, buy furniture and so on. In herbalism, getting a herb garden is very, very cheap, so you can start doing it in like 5 minutes. Also, calculating the profit is much, much easier when it comes to herbalism, comparing to labors. As you can see, it's way easier than you think to make nice silver monthly. If you would rent like 30 plots, I think it should take you like 20 minutes daily to collect your herbs from the plots and seed them again. In this money-making method, consistency is very important because each day is another silver income. Of course, you can rent way more islands, so you will profit even more. Earnings in this method depends on the time and silver that you can spend to start doing herbalism. In the future, I will also make a similar video about farming crops. If you will become a farmer, remember that you can profit even more with the resources that you will get from farming. For example, you can make an alt character on which you will do potions from the herbs. In this money-making method I showed you today, the earnings are based on herbs without watering them. So if you would want to start using focus on your herbs, as well you will profit way way more. And that's all in this video, I hope you have learned something new and you will start making a lot of silver. You can let me know in the comment section what would you want to see next. That's all from me today, thanks for watching, bye.